Hi everyone. In today's video, we're going to be talking about your destiny number and how your destiny number is derived from your name. Uh, your destiny number is the second most significant of the personality numbers and it tells of who you are destined to be and what you are destined to do in this lifetime. Uh, it is also known as your name or your expression number because it's calculated from your name. And believe it or not, we all actually chose our name before we were born and we impressioned this into our parents and basically made them name them, name us what we did, what they did. Um, because with that name carries a certain energy signature, a certain energy code that will stay with you for the rest of your life, even if you change your name. So it's very important to take note of the destiny number and your life path number when choosing a long-term career and to help you just understand why you're here and what you are here to do and what you are here to learn. So I do have a video on life path numbers that you can go back and watch if you don't know yours already. So to calculate your uh, destiny number, you need your full birth certificate name. Uh, like I said, it doesn't matter if you only had this for a day and if you changed it, whatever was on your birth certificate when you were born, that's the name we are using today. And we're going to use, you're going to want to get a pen and paper or use your phone. And we're going to use what is called a Pythagorean letters and numbers chart. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's numbers one to nine. And then the alphabet underneath, A to I, J to R, S to Z. And you're going to want to spell out your name and put all the correlating numbers underneath. And then add all of those numbers together. So I've done an example, if your name is Ben Smith, remember you want to use the full name, all your middle names. Uh, so, you know, like the two for the B, five for E, five for N, so forth. Add all those together. In this example, it makes 36. And then we're adding the three and the six together to reduce down to make the number nine. You either want to get a number between one and nine or a number 11, 22 or 33, because those are what's known as master numbers so go ahead and pause the video on that and work out what your destiny number is i will leave timestamps in the description below for you to skip forward to your destiny number once you have found that out first let me just take a drink <laughs> so destiny numbers one destiny number ones well, number ones in general are very unique people. They are naturally independent. They are uh, very innovative and very creative and know how to initiate projects. They know how to get things done and get things started. They, um, because of their uniqueness, they very much stand out from the crowd and may find that they want to take a career path or do hobbies which are a little bit out there, um, you know, that's considered not the norm. But that's what makes number ones very special and unique. And number ones are here to learn about themselves. They are here to discover themselves, to discover what they want to do, discover who they want to be and not fear other people's judgments, other people's criticisms and go for what they want to go for in life. Ones have a natural leadership ability about them. They have a natural air of authority about them that other people do admire and respect. But this is only when they learn to actually embrace this and stand up for this. Ones are very good at coming up with new ideas, coming up with new solutions, coming up with, um, you know, just ideas other people wouldn't have thought of. And this is like their their trait in a sense, their superpower. This is what they are good at. They're good at coming up with new things and must learn to always think positive and always think about best case scenarios and not be afraid to go for what they want to go for in life and to stand up for themselves and stand up for who they are, what they're interested in and what they want to go for in life and not need the approval of other people in their lives. And yeah, this is what this is what a destiny number one is here to do. If you don't feel you match these qualities, 
it is because uh, life is going to hand you situations to shape you into becoming this type of person. So embrace your uniqueness, embrace your independence and go for whatever you want to go for. No goal is out of bounds in life. Destiny numbers two. Twos are like the number of partnerships. Twos are natural people uh, people persons. They love to socialise, they love to spend time with friends and family. Um, they are known as natural peacemakers. They are very good at settling conflicts. They are very good at always seeing both sides of a situation. They are very good at being compassionate and understanding to everyone's needs and know how to bring harmony back to situations. If you don't feel like this is you naturally already, this is who you will learn to become through the lessons that life will bring you. Uh, you may find that you take on a natural counsellor role, even if this is not your job, uh, that people naturally open up to you about their problems, about uh, their situations in life. And it's very easy for a two to take on other people's energy so be mindful of uh, if you're feeling a bit out of balance, you know, do things like spend time in nature, um, do things like earthing's really good, which is walking bare feet on grass. Uh, ground yourself in whatever way you do, whether you like to read, whether you just like to sit and watch TV, you know, make sure you spend some time alone to um, detox from other people's energy. Twos also must learn to stand up for themselves and not let people walk over them and take advantage of them and say no when they do, don't um, want to do something. You know, learn to say no sometimes. You know, even if if someone's asking you to do something and inside you're really like, I don't want to do that, don't do it, you know. Um, but yeah, you are here to learn how to become a natural peacemaker and how to naturally understand everyone's point of view and see everyone's side of a situation. Um, yeah, and bring balance and harmony back to situations. Yeah. Destiny numbers three. Destiny number three is well, threes in general are natural communicators. They are natural entertainers. They are very naturally creative and gifted in the creative arts. They are very expressive people. They do very well in public speaking, in sales, PR, uh, social media kind of pursuits. Um, they do very well in all these kinds of things. So if you don't have a creative hobby, uh, I suggest you pick one up. Um, or you will pick one up eventually because it is through your creativity and through how you express yourself that you will have an impact on those around you. Um, Freeze are very gifted in things like acting, singing, dancing, like I said, all these creative things and love to be on stage as well. Um, so throw yourself into your passions, into your talents. If you're a destiny number three, you may find that you want to get sucked into um, gossip, complaining because of your extra talkative nature. You know, ensure that you use your social skills for positivity and in, uh, upliftment and spread good vibes to the people around you and always think positive as well. Um, it's very common for threes to suffer with self-doubt to worry about the opinions of other people, what other people think about them in general. But do be mindful of these tendencies. You know, we do all have these. Um, we do all do this sometimes, but try not to let this overwhelm you because, um, you know, what makes you you is why you're here, you know. And uh, yeah, learn to be expressive and learn to just dive into any creative pursuits you want to do because like I said this is how you're going to have an impact with through your art whatever art that is for you if you don't feel that you are a very creative person at this time through the lessons that life is going to give you this is who you are going to become so 
Destiny is number four. Destiny number fours are here to be natural workers. This does not mean you are here to work for the rest of your life. It means you are here to find your passion, do what you love, and through hard work and dedication and commitment, build the life that you want to build. Um, you know, go for those goals, go for those dreams and aspirations and actually put in some dedication and work towards them to achieve them. Um, when a four is working their passion, they probably will find that are doing what they love, whether this is actually through work or just hobbies in general, you probably will find that you will continue to be active and do things when you are old. You know, you'll still be 80 years old and you'll still be out uh, tending to your garden. You'll still be out um, working. You'll still be writing. Whatever it is that's your passions, um, you'll probably find that you will still do this when you are older and you won't necessarily, uh, when you retire, you won't necessarily just not do anything the rest of your life. You'll keep busy because this is how fours naturally are they like to keep doing stuff and if you don't feel like this is you now the lessons that life will bring you this is who you are being shaped into becoming you will be being taught a lot of lessons that if you don't put hard work in if you don't have determination for what you want that you're not going to achieve anything but fours really can achieve anything in life if anyone can do anything it is a four because fours have that drive, they have that willpower when they are in alignment and when they are following their passions. So find what it is you love and go for that because that is who you are destined to become. Uh, destiny numbers five. Destiny number fives are natural freedom lovers. They are freedom seekers, they love adventure, they love excitement, they love new things. Five is all about change, adaptability, flexibility. Um, a five person may find that they are changing careers often, changing hobbies, changing lifestyles. Um, you know, they're very spontaneous and natural people persons and just love excitement. They do very well in... Um, any kind of a social career, whether this is public speaking, whether this is sales, they do well in things like uh, personal training or like, you know, those outdoor adventure type people, you know, any kind of like physical activity as well. They do very well in stuff like this. And fives are here to show people that change is a good thing and that change is an inevitable part of life. Um, as long as you are not being reckless and impulsive, this is one of the out of alignment qualities of five is just making rash decisions and not properly thinking things through. But when a five can master these um, qualities and um, yeah, you're here to show everyone that change is good, that new things are good, that adventure and excitement is good for your life. And yeah, you're here to try all new sorts of things and live life to the fullest really and experience you know a lot that life has to bring you know sometimes fives can get caught up in um the physical senses you can get caught up in drinking smoking eating um exercise all these kinds of get lost in whatever your sort of physical activity is you can um fives can suffer with like sex addictions and stuff like this so because they have a fear of being bored and a fear of being restricted in life is what it technically boils down to and you want to experience a lot so be mindful of these things these are maybe some of the challenges that might come up for you if you're a five but yeah you're here to be a freedom lover and show other people that that is a good thing and that is a good way to live your life. Oh yeah. So destiny numbers six. Destiny number sixes are, well sixes in general are very gentle, loving people. Sixes represent home, beauty, family, children, 
love you know sixes are here to learn all kinds of lessons about love sixes are very kind and compassionate they are always there that you know they make some of the best friends sixes they are always there to be a shoulder to cry on they are always there to help you out if you need help moving house if you need a friend to just do something for you sixes will always be there for you but sixes have a tendency to overgive, just like the twos and just like the nines sixes want to you know they want to see other people happy but sometimes you will sacrifice your own happiness for other people and that is not what you want in life so be mindful of overgiving be mindful of people taking advantage of your good nature and yeah uh just learn to be of assistance to people but not don't don't take more than you give i don't sorry don't give more than you take um it can suffer with perfectionism you know feeling that you are not doing enough giving enough achieving enough but you know understand that you are perfect the way that you are everybody is and you know learn to stand up for yourself learn to embrace who you are and like I said, learn to not overgive. Uh, must learn not to be a bit interfering. You know, try not to, um, like I said, be overgivers, but to the point where you sort of interfere in other people's lives when they don't actually really need your help, in a sense. Um, sometimes people have to figure things out on their own. Um, but yeah, sixes are here to learn all kinds of lessons about love and just project that natural loving energy to everyone around them, whether this is, you know, people, animals, mother nature, you know. And yeah, if you don't feel like this is who you are, this is who you will become through the challenges and through the lessons that life will hand you, uh, you will find that you're a natural caregiver and a natural uh, loving, gentle person. Yeah. So destiny number seven, sevens are like, sevens are the most spiritual numbers. Uh, they strive to learn a lot, the sevens. They want to learn about anything that is uh, maybe unknown, anything a bit mysterious. Uh, they love all kinds of things to do with metaphysics, philosophy, psychology, research. They also like things to do with accounting, health and education, uh, technology, especially computers any kind of machines, um, not necessarily all of these things, but they'll have probably an interest in one of these kinds of areas. They just have a desire to know how things work. And you may find that if you're a seven, you have a deep connection to nature, a deep connection to like, uh, you know, the oceans, the trees, uh, just being outside in general. And this is probably where you'll feel very good is out in nature so very good for a seven to do this uh to do spiritual practice mindful practices like meditation and yoga um to ground themselves a lot sevens can get a bit caught up in daydreaming and just become ungrounded in general so make sure you do ground yourself by going out in nature um taking salt baths stuff like this cleansing your energy whether you want to use like sage um just grounding yourself through like whatever you like to do, whether it's reading, whether you like to, you know, do exercise, watch TV, whatever you want to do, um, ground yourself and learn to recharge from the hecticness of life that is around you. Uh, so if you are a seven, you are here, destiny number seven, you are here to learn about your own spiritual truth, learn about whatever um excites you you know whatever you're interested in you know you are naturally very good at taking in a lot of information and learn to seek answers about the things that you want to like whether this is about the universe whether this is about people animals machines learn to take in a lot of information because you will naturally impart that to other people as well so if you don't feel like this is who you are through life's challenges and lessons this is who you are destined to become and you are destined to just to just learn a lot and acquire a lot of knowledge and wisdom in life so destiny number eights 
Eight is known as the number of money manifestation and number eights have, eight is a great number because you can be very successful, very financially successful and very wealthy in your life if you have a destiny or life path number eight. Um, they make fantastic business people, fantastic leaders, you know, do very well in, you know, management, self-employment, all this kind of stuff, very hardworking, dedicated, motivated people and can naturally create the reality um, with how they think. So an eight must be very mindful of how they think. They must remain positive because you can also create a lack in your life. You can also create a lot of financial debt. You can create um, just, just lack in terms of finances, in terms of the material world due to your energy, due to how you're thinking, due to uh, what you are projecting out into the world. So always think best case scenario, always think positive because you really can create your reality through how you think. And like I said, eights can be very financially wealthy and very successful um, with a business within their life if they learn to utilize this power and learn to take back control of their life and not um, just take back their own personal power and take back control. Don't let other people belittle you and tell you what you can and can't do. Um, don't belittle other people and manipulate other people. Don't let them manipulate you. And don't um, underestimate yourself. You know, don't doubt yourself and take charge of your life. You know, if things aren't going the way you want them to, take charge and do something about it. Um, yeah, very natural manifestors, the number eight. And so if you destiny number eight, this is who you are destined to become if this is not who you feel like you are at this current moment. So yeah. Uh, destiny number nine. Nines are, nine is the number of service. So nines are natural caretakers. They are natural healers. They are here to um, just be of assistance to other people, basically. They get on well with people, animals, mother nature. They're very generous with their time and with their money and make fantastic healers, life coaches, therapists, uh, psychologists, physios, doctors, um, all this kind of stuff. And yeah, very, very generous, nice people, but can have a tendency to be overgivers, just like the twos and the sixes. They want to overgive their energy. They'll, you know, they want to see other people happy, even if it means sacrificing their own happiness. So they must learn how to say no sometimes. And yeah, stand up for yourself. Nines are here to meet a very wide range of people and to understand people and learn to be less judgmental and learn to have patience with the other people around them and learn to take on other people's views and opinions and needs and wants and learn to be of service and learn to help people but not in a way where it jeopardizes your own happiness and your own life in any way. So find that healthy balance between them. And if you don't feel like you're a natural caretaker through life's challenges, this is who you are destined to become and who life will shape you to be. So yeah, some of the best friends to have nines. You make you make the best friends. You're very supportive and very kind of um, your friends. So yeah. So uh, number 11, destiny number is 11. 11s are the higher vibrational match to twos. So I would highly recommend you go and watch um, number twos, maybe watch my life path number twos video, my life path video and watch the number twos in that uh, because you need to learn the qualities of number two in life first um, and then your 11 qualities will really start to come out. So 11s are natural, they're known as inspirational teachers. They are here to learn their own spiritual truth and then help other people find their own spiritual truth and be understanding. It's not to find your spiritual truth and that is right and you're here to teach other people that that is how it is. Um, 
you are here to you know express uh what is your truth but then um you know like if you're christian and somebody is jewish say for example um you're not here to tell them that christianity is the right way you're here to sort of find that common ground between them of how um being jewish is right for them and how being christian is right for you and how it's what they need in their life and um find that happy balance between them and help people discover who they are without projecting your own views and opinions in a sense um elevens can accumulate a lot of knowledge like the sevens so like i said make very natural teachers and like to impart knowledge and wisdom to other people around them uh very naturally intuitive very naturally psychic so if you like psychic uh, abilities and stuff like this if you're interested in it learn a lot about these things because it'll probably be very beneficial to you um very high energy the 11s so they must learn to ground themselves um you know go out in nature do what's called earthing and walk barefoot in the grass take salt baths ground yourself in whatever way you like to do that and spend some time alone as well. Be really good for 11s. Um, so yeah, learn the qualities of number two. And once you do that, that's when your 11 qualities will really kick in. So if you don't feel like this is who you are uh, through life's lessons and challenges, this is who it's going to shape you into becoming. It's going to shape you into becoming an inspirational teacher. And through your words and your wisdom, you're really going to uplift and enlighten a lot of people around you. So number 22s, destiny number 22s are the higher match of the number four. They are known as the master builders. They are able to create whatever life they want through practical application, which means taking the steps towards the life you want. Life is not just going to hand you everything you want. Um, you know, you need to work for it. And when you do this, you really will be able to create whatever life you want to create. So always think positive. Always uh, take those steps forward. You're very good at seeing where things need to be fixed and where things need to change. You know, whether this is in your home life, your work life, um, you know, you see where things aren't working. This is in the community, in the world in general as well. Um, very naturally intuitive, the 22s. But like I said, they, they're the higher octave of four. So they must master the qualities of number four as well. So go watch um, the number fours one. I said, learn those qualities first. And then your 22 qualities will really um, kick in and come out. 22s can also have a fear of failure so and as as a result don't try things don't go for new things but learn to stand up for yourself and learn to go for what you want to go for no goal is unachievable and yeah don't let any insecurities stop you from going for what you want to go for because like I said you're really able to create the life that you want to create if you take those steps towards it and go for it and this is who you are destined to become. This is who life is going to shape you to be. Naturally creative, uh, a natural creator of your life. So yeah. And last but not least, number 33. 33 is the rarest of numbers. You don't get it very often. So um, 33 is the higher vibration of the number six. So go watch the number six um, part first and master some of their qualities, some of their traits, and then your 33 traits will really come out. 33s are known as the master builders. They, uh, no, sorry, that's 22s. They are known as master healers. They, you will find a 33 in any kind of healing profession, you know, being a doctor, being a physio, being a therapist, um, being a spiritual healer. Um, even if you aren't doing this for your work, you will sort of naturally be interested in these things, naturally know how to, um, naturally know what people need to do to feel better or what you need to do to feel better. It's a natural healer. Very naturally creative. Um, 
you know, very good at things like arts, music, writing, any sort of these creative pursuits, very loving, very kind, natural teachers, um, you know, and you're here to be of selfless service to other people around you and um, help heal, heal yourself first. And then when you do that, you will really heal a lot of people around you just through your words, just by being who you are. You don't need to do anything in general, just by existing, you are naturally healing those around you and you are naturally helping those around you. Um, be mindful of not doing things that, uh, you know, don't put your own energy at stake for doing things for other people. You know, learn how to take that time for yourself and do things that you need to do. And like I said, go and watch the number six um, part and learn some of them qualities first for your 33 ones to come out. Um, but yeah, so this is, this is who you are destined to become if you are a 33, destined to become a natural healer. So yeah, uh, that's the video. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.